And what's up everybody? So I had this weird experience yesterday. I was last night I was uh, I was in my back room and I was working on something and uh, I stopped for a minute. I started focusing on uh, I was thinking about my temples and how <laughs> it's funny but you know, I was thinking about how cannabis in the old days uh, I'd been talking with my friend about how CBD uh, affects the body differently than THC and how it may have to do with that feeling you get in the temples. And I was thinking about this and all of a sudden I got this blood to rush to my temples. And now I've been able to do this with various uh, various body... I've been working on this for a few years now where I try to control certain attributes. I've learned to control my anger. I can harness it. I can whip it around like a my anger is something that I just come and like come and go. It's really weird. I can't explain it. Um, but it doesn't control me. I control it completely. Uh, stress is something that I've been able to totally harness control too. But uh, these experiences, uh, these little experiences that happen sometimes when I don't expect them to. I've been working on controlling serotonin. And it sounds strange, but about a year ago, a year and a half ago, I had this experience where I, you know that feeling where you're excited about something. Um, like a lot of junkies know the feeling like before a fix or something like that. Even even a, a stoner who hasn't smoked a bowl in a while might get that giddy feeling, but your body reacts to excitement. To be able to force that upon your body without having any drugs or anything actually to look forward to is what I was working on. And uh, I learned how to do it. I can get myself excited about anything now. Uh, but I don't sit there and get excited all the time, obviously, because, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to keep it balanced. So anyway, on to the experience. So last night I was I was doing that, and I had that feeling where my my blood had flown, it flew, in, my blood was flowing into my temples, and actually creating that feeling, which wasn't strange in itself, because I've done this before with uh, whether you're consciously willing certain things to stop hurting. It's another one I've been working on pain. It's that very interesting concept in itself, uh, learning how to stop extreme pain like just by focusing on it. Um, so anyway, the feeling I had last night was different than these. I felt locked in. I felt like I had, um, difficult to explain. I felt like I had, uh, uh, I was in a zone. Kind of like when you have, anybody who's had a lucid dream would know what I'm talking about. It was kind of like when you wake up in a lucid dream and realize you're dreaming and you get excited and you wake up. And uh, so it wasn't like a satori state or an awakening. It wasn't like a, oh, you know, some awareness. And it wasn't a state of just regular body control. It was a strange state that I'd never had before. And uh, I was just wondering if anybody else has had that before. Uh, I guess it's, this, it's something that I've been trying to do for a while, but I'm wondering if I've gotten to the point now where I can actually start working deeper on this. In other words, you have to believe to make these things work. And I'm finally to the point where I can force myself to believe enough to actually make them work, if that makes sense.